All right, this video is going to be on um, orbital hybridization. And um, I'm going to do two examples on the video. The first one is going to be SF5. And SF5 uh, has sulfur as its central atom. And then uh, the electron configuration for sulfur in the valence shell, 3s2, 3p4. And pardon me, um, I do have a cold. You can probably hear that. All right, um, next step then is to look at those six electrons for sulfur. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then um, put them around the central atom. You also have one more because it's got a negative charge on it. So FS6 has negative charge. Then um, go ahead and make your bonds to fluorine. I like to put them next to each other. One, two, three, four, five, something like that. And then that helps me identify how many lone pairs there are. So it'll be F. F's going around. And you do want to put in your lone pairs. One, two, it's hard to do this with the stylus, but there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Right. Looks messy, but you get the idea. So um, you can see that you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of groups of electrons. One is a, is a lone pair group. And um, the next step then is to say that if there are six groups of electrons, then you need six hybrid orbitals. Okay, the hybrids are just going to be the mixing of the atomic orbitals. Okay, so you need six hybrid orbitals. So you can count them out or you can just write it this way. Um, so it's going to be S P, you can say 1s, 3p's, and 2d's, and um, so you can see that number adds up to 6. So there's gonna, you're going to combine 1s, 3p's, and 2d's to get uh, 6 um, sp3d2 hybrids. So you say times 6, the number, you need 6 of them. Alright, so that's where we're headed. <clears throat> and we want to write out the electron configuration and start with um, sulfur, just unhybridized, 3s, 3p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then there's one more. 7, which is that extra electron. <clears throat> you can put that one in red. That's the, oops, that's the extra electron right there. All right, so we know what we need, which is uh, two Ds to be populated. So you're going to promote, you're going to add energy and pop an electron from the S over to the D. And then you can take one of these other two electrons, maybe this one, doesn't matter which one, and put it over there. <clears throat> so that's going to be your strategy. You just redraw 3s, 3p, and 3d. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then there's one more, 7. doesn't matter where you put the extra one. That makes the lone pair. All right, now you're set up to mix them all together, hybridize it. The analogy is cans of paint, right? You mix different colors of paint. You still have the same number of cans of paint, but they're all kind of a blended color. All right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, sp3, d2 hybrids. You could also write d2sp3, by the way. 
seven electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is where the um, lone pair comes from. So this is the lone pair. And then these five can make five sigma bonds. They're available to make five sigma bonds. All right, so then the next step is to draw it. And since there are six groups of electrons, you're going to um, make the octahedral geometry, make the, your square a little bit skewed there, put uh, sulfur in the middle, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's underneath the plane. Um, each of those is sp3d2, and you want to label it that way. So sp3d2, oops, sp3d2. Okay, and then there's one lone pair. You can go ahead and put it down here. So just make the two electrons here. Okay, now you can see um, the name of the shape as well. It's going to be the square pyramid. Okay, now you got fluorines that are going to attach to it, and each fluorine is going to be tetrahedral. If it's tetrahedral, the shape, the uh, hybridization is sp3. You got to know that from the chart. You got to you got to know all that stuff from the chart. So um, there's five of them, right? So there's one, two. Three, four, and you have lone pairs again. Each fluorine has three lone pairs or six lone pair electrons. Okay, and then you have to label each one SP3. Gets kind of crowded in the drawing, but I want to see all this on your test. So you got to label every single hybrid orbital. Put the lone pairs in. <coughs> Excuse me. Just go around. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now uh, the next thing is to label the uh, sigma bonds. And the sigma bonds are wherever you have um, an end on overlap between orbitals. This is, this is a covalent bond right here. This is another covalent bond. This one this one and that one. So you have to label the type of bond and it's called sigma. Sigma means n non and it's the Greek letter sigma. So sigma, sigma, um, right here, sigma, sigma, and sigma. There's five sigma bonds. That's the answer. Do one more. <coughs> Uh, excuse me. This one is going to be <coughs> sorry. <coughs> SF4. This is the easier one, actually, but we'll do it anyway. So we have SF4, and we have the same thing that sulfur is uh, 3s2 and uh, 3p. Let me get rid of that. Sorry. 3p4. That's its. Um, ground state electron configuration. Do the Lewis structure. 
So if we're in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six in this case, making one, two, three, four bonds, and you have a lone pair. Each fluorine has six lone pair electrons. Like that. Okay, that's the Lewis structure. All right, now we know we have five groups of electrons. So five groups of electrons means Oops, can't spell. Means that we need five hybrid orbitals. Okay, and you count them out. S, you're going to mix three P's and one D, so it's a total of five. So we say SP3D. Oops, didn't mean that one. D, or we say DSP3. It doesn't matter which way you say it. So this is the type of hybrid, and you need five of them. All right, then you want to go back to the electron configuration for sulfur, and you've got no, nope, sorry. Okay, gonna sneeze. Um, <laughs> so you got three, three S, three P, one, two, three, four, five, three D's. Okay, and here you've got a total of six electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what you have to do. You have to make five hybrid orbitals. So that means you're going to take one of these and promote it and put it over here. <clears throat> and the next step. So you just redraw it. 3s, 3p, 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see again in this example you're going to have the lone pair. All right, next thing is to mix them all together. One S, three P's, and two D's. So you're going to have your five hybrid orbitals. One, two, three, four, five SP, three D hybrids with six electrons. Two, four, five, six, like that. Okay, now you're ready for your drawing. If you've got five groups of electrons, you're going to draw it like a... Uh, um, a trigonal bipyramid. So you're going to make that triangle shape, right? Kind of skewed. This triangle is in and out of the plane of this uh, whiteboard here. And <coughs> you have sulfur in the middle. You're making <coughs> five groups of electrons. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then you've got um, four bonds to fluorine. So if you remember in class, we talked about the lone pair is going to be in the plane of the triangle. So you got F, one, two, three, four. These are sp3 hybrids. So it's one, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, then you're going to put your lone pairs in. One, two. Okay, then. And you're going to label the fluorines have sp3 hybridization.
uh, sorry, D2SP3 for this lone pair, sorry. Uh, SP3, SP3. If you have colored pens, it's easier for me to see that you've got all the parts here. Then for the sulfur, it's D2SP3 or SP3D2. D2SP3. <coughs> okay, that looks kind of messy, but keep going. Um, you get the endon overlap on the top there. That's going to be a sigma bond. That's part, this part right here. Then you get another one right here. You don't have to draw those lines, but that's a sigma. This one is a sigma bond. Whoops, what's going on here? I lost my pen. Oh, there we go. That's another one. Right here is sideways overlap. Um, endon overlap, sorry. So you have four sigma bonds, four bonds to fluorine, four sigma bonds, and you have this one lone pair right there. So that is going to be the seesaw shape, if you remember. Thank you.